everyone welcome to my channel it's Heather um, before I get started with my July wrap-up I want to just say thank you so much for watching this video and I would love it if you would subscribe and follow me on Instagram um, I'm gonna leave my link down below so that you can um, follow me there so yeah I want to go ahead and jump right in July was a super busy month um, when is it when you're a mom of two <laughs> um, but I got a lot of sewing done so the first thing that I worked on were some pajamas for my girls. So I made a matching set. This set is um, the ones I made for my older daughter, but then I also made a set for my younger daughter that were the exact same, just in a smaller size. And so just some cute summer knit shorts. This is a um, knit fabric from Dear Stella, and I just love the flamingos on it. And if you look really closely, you can see that I used my double needle. Um, I'm not 100% happy with how they turned out, but I mean, they stretch and it totally worked. Um, I think I just need to play with it more to get it like perfect, but otherwise not bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, these turned out really nice. So it's just a short and then a shirt, which by the way, look at how huge this shirt looks. <laughs> My daughter is almost nine and like I can't get over there I remember seeing her little tiny onesies when she was a baby <laughs> but anyway and so here's the top to go with it so it's just a nice comfy set of summer pajamas and yeah this um, pattern is by sew a little seam the next project that I did in July was this gorgeous cherry dress oh my goodness just take it all in um so this is the newest violet field thread pattern um i think it's called the sutton dress um and it has inseam pockets it has a pleat right here that i put some decorative trim in um oh and then it has several sleeve options but the sleeve that i absolutely was obsessed with was this little bow sleeve so it's kind of got like a cold shoulder and then a little bow how precious um and this is an art gallery print that i got from threads and stitches fabric um that's so cute i didn't have enough to do all the lining so i did the lining and the pockets in this really cute um i believe it's moda gingham uh, and that turned out really nice. And then it has a sweet little sash on the back. And this just turned out so cute. It looks so cute on my daughter. She loves it. Um, anything with pockets, am I right? And yeah, it just turned out perfect. I'm really happy with this one and how it turned out. Next, I made some super easy just leggings. So I made these for my younger daughter and I put little tags in them because my husband has issues with telling what is the front and the back of leggings. Um, so I put a little tag in each one and so these are just some knit from Hobby Lobby and then these um, are that Dear Stella knit again and with the Betsy leggings um, from Violet Field Threads it has a lot of options so I did this little like ruffle detail um, at the bottom of these leggings and I thought it just added a little something extra. Um, by the way these ruffles were like a nightmare <laughs> to work with they were really hard because they're so small um, and you're trying to sew woven onto knit and it, it just wasn't the easiest but I do like how they turned out and again I used my um, twin needle right here for the edges and I really like how it turned out so I'm really happy with those the next thing that I made I don't know about um, where everyone else lives but my older daughter's getting ready to go back to school which means back to school sewing and when I saw this print, it is just fabulous. <laughs> it is all kinds of like school and art supplies. It's just so cute. It's so cute. And of course, I found these little apple buttons. Um, the apple buttons are from Hobby Lobby. This um, fabric is from Threads and Stitches Fabric, and I will link it below. I know that she still has this on stock on her website. Um, but this is just a simple skirt pattern. It's the Willow by Violet Field Threads, and it has pockets because pockets are a necessity, especially if you need to, you know, carry around all of your art supplies. And it's just flat in the front, and then it has a gathered waistband in the back. And yeah, I really like how it turned out. I was originally going to make something for my younger daughter out of this, but my older daughter saw it and she just fell in love. So. 
I made her a skirt. All right, the last kids item that I made um, was this super gorgeous dress. This is the Eliana by Violet Field Threads. And oh my goodness, it's so big. I'm gonna just stand back so you guys can see it. And it is just so precious. I'm gonna insert some pictures of my daughter wearing it because it looks so much more beautiful on her than it does just on the hanger. But it is a true wrap dress. So it's a wrap dress that ties here at the waist and it's a high-low with a flounce, so many flounces, this beautiful V back with this like dainty tie. It is just gorgeous and it turned out so nice. Um, so this is some art gallery voile, voile, voile <laughs> that I used and it is just the perfect weight. It's just so summery, so billowy um, and because the bodice is lined and it has a gathered skirt, I don't feel like it's see-through which is really nice and yeah this just turned out so precious like I said there'll be pictures of her wearing it it looks beautiful on her and then the last thing that I made was something for me I know gasp no one can believe it um, but I'm actually wearing it right now so this is the um, Jessica dress by Mimi G and y'all I started this dress <laughs> I think in April <laughs> because I wanted to get it done before my husband and I went on vacation in May and I got all of it put together except the buttons and buttonholes and I just stopped. <laughs> and so I finished it this month um, and boy, let me tell you, it's a lot of buttons. <laughs> so I'm gonna step back so that you guys can take a look, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I got this fabric on clearance at a local um, quilting shop. And then the only thing I would say is that maybe I could have gone down like one size, like it's a little big right here in the armpits. And you know what it doesn't really bother me it's just a little little bit big but it feels you know loose and billowy and perfect for summertime so I'm just gonna stand back and let you guys get a peek of it that's all I have for you guys today thank you so so much for watching and I can't wait to show you guys what I'm gonna be sewing up next month bye